always be solving others' problems and you'll never be low on deals. How do you make a lot of money in real estate? Uh, there is several answers to that. And the best answer I have is to always be solving the seller's problems. The question I get frequently in this market is how do I find deals in this hot market? And the answer is they are all around us. There's two ways to find deals. And I'll delve into a little bit deeper in, in this video today. Briefly put, either you're calling them or they're calling you. That's the two ways to find deals. If you're calling them, it is people who you've seen who said, I have a house for sale. And you and everybody else around knows it. Perhaps it was a yard sign. Perhaps it was Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or a Facebook group they posted it in. Um, maybe it was just word of mouth, which means less competition. Regardless, if you're calling them, that means they said they have a house for sale. The other way is to get them calling you. And that is by far my favorite because when they call us, we buy a lot more uh, per call. In other words, if we're calling them, depending on the source, we may get several calls or even several dozen calls out before we buy a house. Whereas when they're calling us, every right now, every uh Ninth one is the number I've been uh, using. It's actually a little bit higher than that. But every ninth one that's been calling us saying, hey, I want to sell you my house from our many marketing methods, uh, we're buying their house and working out a deal. Why? Because we solve problems. We solve problems. And frankly, no matter what business you're in, it's almost every business is about solving the customer's problem. In our case, the problem is, could be many things. Frequently, it is the seller needs some quick cash. We provide that. Or perhaps the seller needs debt relief. In a situation where we go in and take over the debt, we provide that. Perhaps the seller wants to get rid of an unwanted property. We provide that. Perhaps the seller wants to sell the house and just simply can't get what they want out of the house because it needs some updates or something. Well, if they're willing to sell it and get more money over time, we've got that. So whatever it is that the seller needs, if it obviously the majority of sellers want all retail uh, to be cashed out immediately and to close in seven days, right? That's the, the dream. That's not what we provide. We don't pay all cash at full price. We sometimes pay full price, sometimes pay cash, but not all at the same time. So ultimately, we ask questions. We let the sellers tell us what their challenges are, what they need, and we see if it fits in our mo model, if it fits in our business to solve that problem. We want to solve the seller's problem. And so it has not been uncommon and it's still not uncommon that we buy houses, unwanted houses, people who want out of their house, want out from under the debt load. And we pay sometimes a really, really high price, even fully full price, but it is because we get time to pay them off. And other times we pay all cash way below value. Sometimes we pay them over time, but we give them some moving money up front. And so we have all sorts of strategies and solutions, but at the end of the day, it is all about solving the seller's problem. Something else I'll add. When the sellers see that we are serious about solving their problem, we create rapport and a relationship with them, and we get raving reviews from them. Why? Because they can tell we're not just another investor out there looking to only make money on their house. Now, are we investors? Yes. Do I intend to make money on the houses I buy? Absolutely. And it's very important to me that the seller also wins and gets what they need. I have paid more for houses in the 
at times than I would have even had to because the seller, need, now it, mind you, still was a profitable deal for me and for my company. It wouldn't have been fair to myself, my team, my family, or my company to take a deal that's not profitable. It doesn't work that way. Also, the customer understands that it's important to me that they get what they want and what they need and that I solve their challenge while making it a win for me, my team, and my company. So how does that work? I ask the questions, we negotiate till we get to something that is mutually beneficial, the seller wins, I win, my team wins, my company wins, they get whatever it is they need out of it, and we ultimately get to make money on the property too. So what's the number one key to make a lot of money in real estate? Always be solving the seller's problems and do deals that are a win for everyone involved. I hope that helps. And if you like that video, just click the uh, like button, click the subscribe button and follow for more.